is that guy? And what's he doing? They want to talk to this man. The video shows a middle-aged white man changing his shirt. A person of interest, a white man said to be in his 40s. Do you know this man? A surveillance video shows a middle-aged white man changing his shirt just about a half block from where the SUV was abandoned. The possible suspect described as a white male appearing to be in his mid-40s. This person of interest, they say, who's a white man in his 40s, they think, who is seen not far from the vehicle changing shirts. The guy in the video seen here is described as a white male in his 40s. He's seen stopping to take off a sweatshirt. The NYPD is now searching for somebody they describe to be a white male believed to be in his 40s. Somebody a who's homegrown. homegrown, maybe a mentally deranged person or somebody with a political agenda. Middle-aged white man. White man said to be in his 40s. Middle-aged white man. Are white you listening man. to the sounds of the reason we're about to die as a nation? The vermin in the media and the vermin in the White House, the vermin in the outhouse, the vermin in the... State House, the vermin in the city house. They all yesterday said it was a white man. There was Bloomberg saying it was a deranged man with a political agenda. Not one of them would say if it was a Muslim. Not one of them would say if it was a Middle Easterner. Not one of them, if it hit them in the face, would acknowledge what's going on around them, which is why we must defend ourselves. We have a bunch of overly race conscious government dupes running everything in this country. There were the news anchors and the reporters. You heard it with your own ears just yesterday. Repeating white male, 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 white male. Because they believe in blackmail, 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 blackmail. They blackmail the entire white race into a corner. They blackmail the entire white race into a corner. And they're killing us. The Muslims are running wild in this country. The Muslims are running wild in this country. And the police are afraid of them. The police are afraid of CAIR. The police are afraid of the ACLU. The police are afraid of everybody but you. White male, white male, white male, white male, white male, white male. You haven't heard Muslim male, 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 did you? If they found out who it was, the guy gave himself up and they won't say Muslim male, Muslim male, links to Islam, Islam, Muslim, Muslim, Islam, Islam, Muslim. Why won't they say it? Because they're a bunch of morons. And that's why we're in trouble. You heard it with your own damn ears. What more do I have to say to you? Now, the key points in this case of the Times Square bomber are very obvious to me. I watched the entire uh, news conference today as it unfolded. And let me just say this before I get into it. It's very easy to stand here on the outside and criticize government officials, which I do for a living. I recognize that. Very easy to stand there and... And, and stick fingers in the dike and say they should have done this, they should have done that. And I understand that. So I have to ask myself, if I worked for the U.S. government in one of the intelligence agencies, particularly if I were a higher up in Department of Homeland Security, a useless, bloated agency that spies on U.S. citizens and lets terrorists like this slip through the cracks because they're afraid of the ACLU and CAIR, they could have arrested this guy. He was screened when he came back from Pakistan the last time. But she didn't touch him, Janet Napolitano. In fact, if you listened to the news conference, it was revealed that this bastard, when he returned from Pakistan the last time, this bastard underwent some kind of secondary screening after he returned to the U.S. And that now somehow led to his arrest. So you have to ask yourself, why was he screened when he came back the last time? And what was learned? And why did Napolitano not arrest him? This is the fourth time she has failed us. This is the fourth time she has shown her incompetence. This is the fourth time we've seen that it's an ordinary citizen who protected us, not these overpaid oafs in the government. So again, I have to ask you, do you feel that the government acted responsibly in stopping this attack? You know that they had nothing to do with it. The only reason the bomb didn't go off is because this bastard didn't know how to make a bomb properly. Do you feel that a reasonably competent director of Homeland Security would have stopped the bomber before he even drove his vehicle to Times Square since he was on a watch list? And why do you think Napolitano was again unsuccessful in stopping the bomber earlier? Next, we have to ask ourselves, should we let more Muslim immigrants into the country? Oh, yes, I'll ask the question until they put me out of business. I'll ask it until you hear it, you schmucks, you. Should we let more Muslim immigrants into the country? Next, we'll ask this. Who in the media seemed most disappointed today that the bomber turned out not to be a white man after he was identified as a Muslim from Pakistan? 
Who in the media seemed most boohooish today that the bomber wasn't another Timothy McVeigh or he didn't match the protocols of the uh, militia up in, uh, in, in, uh, in Michigan? The FBI realized, uh, revealed today that the bomber was questioned and then he was read his rights or Mirandized. I ask you, should he have been Mirandized at all before he was rubber hosed for information? Now, you understand why we're in trouble in America, don't you? Because we no longer have police that are able to do their work. Now, that's not saying there aren't police who couldn't do their work. There are. There are very good police out there with the guts to do the job that we can't do. There are watchdogs, but over them are the cowards. Above them are the politicians. Above the politicians are the outright traitors. And above the traitors are the foreign sources that control this this country. So, again, I say to you, Let's go back together. Let's listen to the sound together. White male, 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 white male. Bloomberg, the moron mayor of New York, proved, uh, distinctly proved that not only uh, that a billionaire can not only be a criminal like Madoff, but a billionaire can also be a moron like uh, Bloomberg. It just shows you you don't have to be smart or intelligent to be a billionaire. Yesterday he was saying it was a homegrown terrorist who was disgruntled. Now it gets worse. Wait, it gets worse. CNN, the seditious news agency, actually put out a piece where they felt bad for the bomber because his house had been foreclosed. Listen to clip 15. Firm that his house was foreclosed on uh, in recent years. I mean, one would have to imagine that that brought a lot of pressure and a lot of, of heartache on that family. Yeah, she said July of 2009 they left, and then shortly after that she says they changed the locks uh, on the home. Did they say that he, they gave him locks? Uh, did they give him bagels at all? Or what did she say? They changed his locks or they gave him locks? Or someone denied him locks and bagels. Is that why he did it? All right, so we're, we're looking at this, and we know a few things. We know that Janet Napolitano is the most incompetent Homeland Security Secretary. Possibly, it's, inco- it's impossible to find anybody more incompetent than her. Impossible. She failed with the Christmas bomber. One after the other, her agency has failed us. He was under surveillance. They didn't take him in. Why? They're afraid of the ACLU and CAIR, in my opinion, I'm guessing. But wait, there's more. There's a show on Fox News uh, that is run by a man who has been faking it for many years. He started as a fill-in for Rush Limbaugh, got lucky. Uh, I don't I don't hold it against him that he only went to high school. That means nothing. I know many people who went to high school did very well. But this one wraps himself in the flag. I call him wall, wall banger affectionately for a couple of reasons. And he continuously has Democrats on who he kisses their the ring. He has a schmuck on named Bob Beckel, who yesterday said this on Wallbanger show on Fox. Listen to 16. That they have a, a person of interest as a naturalized American citizen returned to the country after spending several months in Pakistan. Is it is it too early to read into that? No, I I, I still think the jury is out on this. I, I think it could be a, a right wing militiaman uh, in, involved in this. I mean, you never know. Now, why would Hannity permit this man to ever come back on his show again? The answer is because they're both clowns. But they're not the problem. They're part of the government media problem that we all have. When you've got an agency like Fox, which is so important to us, that has now become the CNN of five years ago, and we no longer have a truly conservative media outlet, except for a few people left in talk radio, tell me where we're going to be tomorrow if this goes on. We know that we have an outright, uh, let us say, um, suspicious individual in the White House. We don't know which side of the, which team he's playing for. Half the time, no matter which way it comes down, we don't know which side Obama's really on. We never can really tell. Today, Eric Holder got up there and almost looked like an American attorney general. I was actually shocked by Eric Holder. It seems like whoever wrote his script really got their act together today. I have to take my hat off to whoever wrote uh, Holder's script. He seemed like he actually was an attorney general who was talking to himself. That was the funny part. He was saying, we learned this, we learned that. He was saying he learned. I think Eric Holder has awakened finally to come to understand that the Muslims in this country are not all here because they love us, that there's a high percentage of them who don't love us, and they're coming from the Muslim community. How many different ways do I have to say the same God darn thing? How many different times do I have to say it? That they're shaking down children with braces on their legs who are crippled and making them go through screening three times, but if a Muslim comes, they get on their knees and say, Allah be praised, and they let them walk through screening. How many times do we have to put up with this garbage because of this cowardly government? How many times do we have to be intimidated by CAIR and ACLU? Both groups, as far as I'm concerned, are seditious. I'll be right back. Savage. 